I'm Lee Milan, and in this video we're going to look at multi-clip editing. So in Ableton Live, when you're editing MIDI clips, you can double click to open up the clip view and you can edit the notes and content. Now multi-clip editing is basically the ability to see the contents of multiple clips overlaid from each other and basically be able to program them in a way that you can have a nice interaction musically between the different components and, and see them in a manageable form. Um, so I've got something I've actually made using this. So I'll play this first and then I'll show you kind of how I got to this stage. Okay, so to do multi-clip editing, uh, you basically click one of the clips and then hold shift to highlight the rest, and then you'll see the actual clip view changes quite a lot. So we have lots of kind of ghosted notes, which are the ones which are the, the sort of the background of the foreground clip that's in focus at the time. And to move between the different clips, there's a loop brace for each of these clips. Now, because of this, it's a good idea, if you look, the color of the actual clips themselves are represented as you hover over and then you click to whichever one it is, and you can see that the name of the actual the clip showing up melody one, two, three, and four, and so on. So the coloring of this is quite important to kind of uh, keep your head around what's going on. So if you see here, I've got like a yellow and then a slightly yellowy green color here. So I'm actually gonna change this color. So I'm gonna change the color of the track, something a bit more sort of uh, significantly different. And then I'm gonna choose to assign that track color to my clip. And now if we have them all highlighted, we can see that we go now yellow and then blue, and then a brown and then a pink color as well. So in order to actually program this in, all we need to do is basically delete out those clips that are there. And then I can do um, Command, Shift and M to insert a clip, or you can do that from the, the context menu with a control click. And then I have four blank MIDI clips to work with now. So we can do this in arrangement view and we can also do it in session view. If I press tab to move, I can drop them in there and work exactly the same way. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just basically Start with a short idea, I think, for this first clip here. So I'm just going to set that so the loop itself is shorter. And then if we set that to repeat by dragging it, that will repeat four times as a sort of a, a basis of a sound to run here. So I'm just gonna find my kind of starting point here, which I think we're in C. So what I'm doing there is using the Command and D command once I've created the first note, and then I'm using the arrow keys to, to move the new note around. My actual preview is active there, so I'm hearing the notes as they're moving around. Um, I actually want to kind of change the playback speed of this, so I'm just going to double time that so it plays at half the speed as, as I programmed it in. So now this is my, my sort of backbone melody idea. Okay, we'll just set that out so we can just hear that stuff by itself. Okay, so that's the, the first melody that I've got running now. Just turn that up a little bit while we're in solo mode. And then, because I'm in multi-clip editor, I can now go to my other parts. So let's go to melody two. And this is where we can kind of create some complex layers melodically. So I can see the musical pitch that's used in my first clip. I can also see the timing of the events in there. So we can approach this in a few different ways. I can sort of copy the clip across as a starting point and have a second clip that I then modify to slightly deviate from the first one. That's one approach to doing this. Or I can kind of spot the gaps and start putting in new notes that fill in the gaps. So it's a different timbre of this sound. So we have an interplay between the first layer and the second layer. And I'm, I'm gonna go for that. So um, let's just change the resolution for this a little bit and let's just add some notes in the middle. I'm just going to copy all those notes across so they now match up with the duration of that looping first idea. Okay, so that's quite a prominent sound, so I'm actually going to copy that across to one of my 
other sounds that I've got here. And I'll go for that idea of copying that first clip. So I've now got three clips. I'm going to modify this second copy of that first clip there. So let's uh, offset all of these just to the other note. And I think I'll drop the octave of this one. So I'm using Command and A to highlight all those notes and then Shift and the down key drops it down an octave. And then let's go in for our fourth clip. So again, if we Command and Shift, then we can see the content that's already there. And we can start thinking about what this fourth layer is going to do in response to what we already have here. So it's quite busy. I'm just going to click and pull left here so we have a, a change in the vertical zoom to see kind of what area is not quite discovered here. So I might go for some longer notes because obviously it's quite frantic in its rhythm with what's going on here already. Let's just go for some slower paced content. Let's just copy those, undo those notes for a minute. I'm actually just in the wrong clip there. So this is a point where I need to click the, the right loop brace here. So let's just try that again. So copy that across duplicate that and then maybe actually just kind of double up on the speed of that. So I'm just changing the length of what that second repeat of this layer. Hold Alt and just drag those across so they, they do twice the speed of rhythm. So as I'm developing this, the slower pace of my fourth layer is obviously a bit more kind of melodic and catchable as in something our ear can catch to. The other parts that are quite fast are more flourishes that kind of can decorate that main idea. So although I started with the first layer as what I thought would be the beginning of my idea, I'm now adapting to it. So I brought down the level of the other parts here and I'll just blend those in. So we have kind of a decoration around that main walking melody line. Okay, now you can do up to eight of these. So if I want to, I can embellish on that more and do a, a layer five. And just remember, it's really important in terms of your workflow to choose distinctive colors for these tracks and then also make sure that the clips have the same kind of coloring system too. So um, let's kind of highlight this second copy of that same idea. And this one's actually gonna do the double rhythm first. And then this one's gonna do an even more sort of intense speed change. So I'm doing this kind of visually at the moment and I adapt as I, as I develop it. But the key thing is I'm able to kind of see what's going on and, and paint sounds around what I might class as my main idea here. So just change the actual timbre of that slightly. Okay, so we have, if we look at the clip view again, we have a lot of content here, all based around the fact that we can highlight multiple clips and do this multiple clip editing. Other context for doing this, if you work in a workflow where you have your drums spread across different tracks, it could be a different MIDI clip for different aspects. It could be that you have chopped up breaks as one layer, maybe some main kicks and snares and hi-hats as another, and you want to develop an idea that kind of works in a way where the sounds are a bit more monophonic, as in they don't play too much at the same time, you can use the highlighted multiple clip editing to be able to see what's happening at any point and thin out information if too many things are clashing at the same time. So that's multiple or multi-clip editing. And just remember, when you're doing it in terms of editing what you're doing, make sure you use a color system. So when we're clicking those different loop braces for up to eight clips at a time, you can easily identify by color what each idea is separately.